Hey guys, Matt here, and welcome to the second episode of Tips and Tricks. I will be releasing a new episode every Tuesday and Friday to help you guys with some short tips and tricks um, to help me along as well as helping you. Can you guys leave some comments in the in this video telling me what or inboxing me telling me what tutorials you want to see? But um here yeah guys let's get started. So you should have this Lightroom from the last time I gave it to you. Um yeah, so let's open up this Lightroom, go to File, Merge and find yourself a new or uh, AI file. Um, I'm gonna go for saw. Okay, so once you've got your file open, you just wanna click the little arrow here, or the little plus sign here. Find out how many paths you got. And so, if you've got two paths, obviously you want two extrude nerves. You've got three paths, three extrude nerves, etc. So I've got two, so I'm just gonna duplicate that one. Come on, do that. I'm going to select these both. Go to object and make the depth larger. For 120. I go to caps, fillet cap, and fillet cap. Change this to about one percent, one centimeter. Sorry, and one centimeter again. Scroll down here. Set this to quadrang, quadrang, quadrangles. Quadrangles, I'm not sure how to say it, <laughs> and then tick regular grid, and then um, you can mess around with this here, see how many squares you want. So the lower it is, the more squares, the higher it is, the less squares. So I like to go to 15. Um, so once you've got that, you just want to select, um, add a nice um, CC, not CC, sorry, um, material, and then just copy it onto both of them. This may look purple, but when you render it out, it's actually a really nice grunge. Not that you guys care at the moment, but okay. Once you've done that, I'm gonna go to plugins, Greebler. Also, guys, this Greebler doesn't come with Cinema 4D. You're gonna have to um, download it, and then once you've downloaded, it, I'll leave the link in the description to where you download it. But once you've downloaded it, you um, you well yeah once you've downloaded it you get a, an, a WinRAR file you extract it and then drag the folder into your Cinema 4D plugins folder and then open up Cinema 4D or ask you for a serial and then you're gonna have to go into YouTube and search in free Greebler serial that's what I done and then someone gave me one but um yeah guys once you've done that you wanna go to plugins Greebler and then Greebler again. We'll drag these two extrude nerves onto the Greebler. And once you do that, you can see it all goes all big and like blocky and weird colours. Just zoom out a little bit so you can see all of it. Yeah, so you got that. Um, then you want to go to Object and change this to 1408. And then it'll just it'll do something where it makes it look a little more even. You can see that. Go. But um, then you want to go to base and change this to about five percent. Change this to about one percent, and let's change this to about zero percent. Back to one percent, back to one percent. There you go. So it just thins that out a little bit so it's not so chunky on the edges. Okay, so then once you've done that, you go to stock greebles. You can select um, untick stock greebles so it's just the blocks, or you can select generate greebles and it adds all these like, little nuts and bolts and random shapes. Then you go to settings, select add bottom caps and relax positioning, and just adds a few more nuts and bolts. Go down here, change this to about 60%, and this to about 40%. Um, yep, yeah, and then you can go down to shapes, and there's a bunch of um, random shapes you can actually click, like the nuts and bolts down here. If you click this one, 
to add some nuts and bolts in there. Um, scroll to the top. So yeah, if you want the um, as you can see, these um, little cubes aren't really sticking out as much. So if you want to make them bulge out a bit more, go to oh, no, sorry, base, and just mess around with the, the height. I think it's the height. Yeah, so as you can see, guys, it's bulging out quite a lot now. And then another effect you can do, you don't have to do this, just adds a bit more of a bulgy explosion effect. You go to explosion, get a new null object, and drag the explosion onto the null, and then drag the greebler onto the explosion, select the explosion, and set it to 1%. As you can see, guys, it adds these weird spiky edges and just like this weird pattern stuff um, change this down to about 50% so it's not so strong there we go Let's change the rotation a little bit to what you want and there we go guys that's the Griebler effect you can also do this on a cube I'm doing 6 minutes already so I want to keep this short so I'm not going to show you how to do the cube but the cubes exactly the same effect guys, you just mess around, we'll copy the same sentence I did on the Griebler on this tutorial onto a cube, we we'll click cube and then just drag the Gre or copy the Griebler settings onto the cube and then the cube will have the same effects but yeah guys, um, I'm gonna render this out and then Hop into Photoshop to show you how to or what um you need to do from there to make it like a nice grungy effect. So just change this. Oops. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh yeah, before I go guys, this is the thing I did previously. Look, as you can see I just done the Atom Array effect on the Darth logo and I've done the same effect with the Griebler onto the cube. And you can see it's all bulging out and everything. So yeah, while well, this is rendering, guys, it's going to take quite a long time, so I'll pause it and I'll be back with you. Okay, I'm back, guys, and um, that's literally finished rendering. One second. Okay, that's literally just finished rendering. Um, as you can see, it took well over an hour. I'm not sure if it was just my laptop being shit, but, or it was the breather effect, but as you can see, it's got a lot of like different little effects in it and little bits, so it's got a render out. So, yeah. It's going to take quite a while unless you've got a super speedy laptop or PC. Yeah guys, that's finished rendering now. Just going to wait for that to do. Hey, while I'm waiting guys, I'm at 350 subscribers. I've got a new pack coming up for you guys. It's basically a bunch of logos I've done with the logo backings and renders and light rooms. Like this kind of light room and stuff. But I'm a PSD. Yeah guys, once that's done you want to go to Photoshop. Um, that's a logo I just created for my friend while I was waiting for the render. But yeah, you want to go to um, 1280 by 720 create a new thingy, um, canvas. Get a nice grey background put on the back. So I'm going to go to file, open, oops, file, place, go to wherever you saved it and then just open it up, there you go, and then that's how beastie that render looks, that actually turned out really good, um, as you can see loads of like little bolted cube effects and like, zoom in, too far. there we go, it's got loads of little nuts and bolts and bits around, but yeah, you just want to go to the um, saw or the render and go to gradient overlay. Um, go to color, get like a nice, a middleish kind of gray on both sides. No, like a middleish kind of gray on both sides. Okay, set that to overlay. As you can see, it brings out the colour because if you turn effects off, it's darker. 
there we go um okay there you then you want to go to outer glow change it to white or a nice bright gray again but I prefer a white just turn the range straight up to 100 and the size up so you get like a nice bulgy effect and just turn the opacity down you see it gives like a nice little tiny glow around the edge and then you want to open up a nice texture so I'm going to go to open up a pack that somebody gave out um, textures I'll find it There we go. Doesn't matter what texture you use, guys. Just drag a nice texture onto your logo. In several places because you need to fill it up like so. I'm going to select them all, create clipper mask, set it to overlay. As you can see, guys, it gets like a really nice texture. Turn the opacity down on it if you don't like it too strong. Yeah, guys, that's um basically how you create the Griebler effect so this tutorial turned out longer than I expected I wanted to keep it around 6-7 minutes but it went to 12 minutes but yeah guys hope this helped please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't and be sure to check out my new tutorials and don't forget to leave some suggestions in the comments so see you guys there peace